I'm a stilly. You can't see, but oh, we match. We're portable buddies. Portable buddies. Yay! Um, we missed your children so much. Um, it's been great to have them back. Yes. As much as them and all of us really would like to be napping today. <laughs> Here we are True. learning and doing stuff. Yeah, they're doing things. Yeah. Doing good. Um, we had a meeting on Wednesday about I Learn. We sure It did. was really productive. I feel like we kind of got on the Who same page. Who led that page. magical meeting? Uh, Carrie Dilly led the meeting, everybody, it and was it awesome. was great. So we've been really steamrolling ahead on getting children where they need to be mm -hmm. and differentiation and whatnot. That being said, in my math block, I'm really pushing towards enrichment for our high fly. Yes. Um, I don't think that I've been pushing as much forward as I'd wanted to before. So Betsy and I have come together after that meeting and kind of planned an online path for them. So if they qualify, well, that was good. So if they qualify based on data, they're not really meeting with me very much at all. They're completely on their own on online stuff. Which sounds so, terrifying as a parent, but it's good because these are the kids who don't need us to sort of slowly chunk right. them through it. These are the kids that can just go off on their own and fly. For example, so. I had 11 kids today mm -hmm. working on a seventh grade level well what? it's our standard but it's more it's like seventh grade kind of level stuff and almost every single one of them made a hundred on their quiz See. so they're getting the growth that they need so if they come home and they're like yeah miss turner's not even talking to me please don't think i don't love them <laughs> i do but i told them you know this is for them to get out of right. my way so that i can help the kids who need help so please don't think i don't love them anymore <laughs> or anything like that i'm just letting them kind of blossom it's so much easier in reading because if you have, if you're a kiddo who's at a higher level, I just give you a more difficult book. Right. And then when we meet in the small groups, then we're, you know, I'm with the lower level kids, I'm talking about lower level books and with the higher level kids, I'm talking about higher level books. And so it's really simple to do that in, in for the way that we do reading, but the math is harder. It's way harder. It That's sucks. why you teach it. <laughs> Yay. Um, science fair. Uh, projects are due on the 14th. I need those bulletin boards in class on the 14th. Can they bring them early? They can bring them early Absolutely. and we'll store them, um, but they, they have to be here by the 14th. The way that's all going to work, um, projects come in. We put them in groups of five. Um, the kids present their project as a practice to the kids in their group. The kids score them and give them a like score or whatever. And out of each group, we'll send a person to be judged by the like. Or two. Or two. Yeah, whatever. one or two, something like that. About um, half of each class goes to. Right. Half of each class will go to, what do we call that, preliminaries? Whatever. They go there. And then the like big real people judge yeah, them. We'll have people judges. from Lily, like doctors, based on like what category, like engineers mm -hmm. will come in and judge them. Mm -hmm. um, I do, I know we had a lot of parent concern last year about it being a popularity contest and that does happen their kids, but we hold the right and Mrs. Dilly will help me to look at their projects and I have no idea ones, what they're doing. But and push the ones amazing. who need to be pushed on. So should they be in a group where they may not be as popular or whatever, because kids are kids, we will push through the ones who deserve to go on. Absolutely. So no worries about that. And Koga. When, yeah. Koga. So when um, you come back to school on, when they come back to school on Monday, we're going to be taking a test called COGAT. Um, this test, along with the NWEA test that they took and <laughs> rocked in December, they're really, really important because a lot of the information about where they're going to be placed next Year is going to come from these assessments, and so this is an an overall like intelligence assessment, and it's not like answering questions about history or like is this a verb or is this a noun. It's more like here's like a series of dots and here's another series of dots and like can you like <laughs> figure out what the next series of dots should look like and some kids love it and it's like their favorite thing that they do all year, <laughs> and some kids really truly deeply hate it, and so whatever like where yeah. wherever your kid falls awesome like just you know. like nwea this is going to be extremely important because we're not really sure what island is going to look right. like when we're going to get our scores right. how valid those scores are going right. to be so placement for next year is really going to rely heavily on kogat mm -hmm. it's probably more important than nwea yeah. because they can still kind of like overcome bad NWEA scores and still be placed in honors or high honors mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah. if that's important to you and your family, then please make sure they get a good breakfast, that they understand how important the test is. Have a calm and morning, yes. like get a good night's sleep, which Pop I- heart situation, whatever that was about. <laughs> but like, I get it. I have a fifth grader this year. I have a fourth grader too. And I know it's a fool's errand to be like, everybody go and be happy and have a good morning and get a good night's sleep two nights in a row. Like what? No, it's impossible. 
do the best that you can. We're going to do the best that we can here. Um, yep. On those mornings, we don't do anything on the computers because no. we want to save all of their, Fries like, their brain. we want to save all of their ability or yeah everything that they have for the actual test. So, so Monday and Tuesday next week are going to be huge. Yep. That's really it, I think. That's it. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> Bye.